was good cause welcome back to the channel today i'm bringing you all another mlb the show 21 diamond dynasty video and in today's video we are talking position players that you should not be using in diamond dynasty right now already did a video for position players and pitchers that you should be using and pitchers that you should not be using so this is the final episode of this series for a little bit until we get new cards and i have to update this list once again but if you're excited for this video do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe and if you're new i would greatly appreciate it i also have another video coming Coming out later today where we're going to talk about end game cards in diamond dynasty right now but without further ado i hope you all enjoy the video and let's get it minica watch me on twitch oh i'm streaming i'm on youtube subscribe to the channel red button beaming let's get that sub count take over youtube oh we teaming my content so how oh yeah i'm steaming oh yeah i'm steaming red button beaming Ladies and gentlemen, I am back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty and today we're going to be talking position players I believe you should not be using in Diamond Dynasty right now. Already did a video for pitchers that I believe you should not be using in Diamond Dynasty. So if you're looking for a pitchers video, make sure to go check that one out. But like my other videos, these are going to be just my opinion. Whether I think that these cards are not good, whether I think there's better options, I'm going to be giving you all some information in this video on why I believe you should not be using some of these cards. But if you want to continue to use them, that is completely up to you at the end of the day diamond dynasty is for fun and building a team that you like to use so continue to use these cards these are just tips so let's get into it up first is the 99 john olerud from team affinity season four and it's not necessarily that this card is completely bad his stats are okay in game he plays all right but there's so many better first baseman options in this game he's not even a top 10 first baseman in the game right now there are way better options guys like vladimir guerrero jr in the same program frank thomas is way better than this card yeah have Miguel Cabrera, David Ortiz. So in my opinion, don't think this John Olerou card is that good. Think there are better options at the first baseman position. Like I said, though, his stats in game, he's okay. So if you're a Blue Jays fan, maybe you want to use this card. Now we're going to talk about another 99 overall first baseman from the Team Affinity Season 4 program, and that is the Jason Giambi card. And if they gave this Jason Giambi card better power against lefties, he'd be one of the best first basemen in the game. But they didn't do that. He absolutely smashes righties. But just in case your opponent does throw a left lefty on the mound i would not go with this card over guys like frank thomas david ortiz vladimir guerrero jr or miguel cabrera i like all of those cards over this jason giambi and a couple of those cards you can get completely free he's really good against righties if you want to use him as a bench bat but like the other guys that i named i'd rather use them over this jason giambi card he's an okay fielder at first base with okay speed but there's better options up next is the 99 joe morgan and when the fifth inning boss program came out we all knew this joe morgan card was the worst of the three between him Vladimir Guerrero Sr. and Nolan Ryan this card is not that good against lefty arms he's okay against righties but the reason I think he's so bad in this game is his batting stance he absolutely crowds the plate if you throw inside on this Joe Morgan it is extremely difficult to get a hit with him I prefer guys like Jackie Robinson Craig Biggio the new Jazz Chisholm card over this Joe Morgan at the second baseman position that doesn't even include shortstops that you could put at second base don't really know why you would use this Joe Morgan card he's a good fielder with good speed but you can can get that same stuff from some of the other players that I already named. I don't know why you use this Joe Morgan card. Now we're going to talk about the 99 George Brett. So we just finished talking about the Joe Morgan. Now we're talking about another inning boss. And this is the sixth inning boss George Brett card. And I don't think this card is good compared to some of the other third basemen in this game. His power numbers, neither of them over 100. He has good contact against righties, but that's about the only good hitting stat that this card has at this point in the game. Only 108 contact against lefties. He's not better than guys like Chipper, not better than Donaldson, the new Spencer Torkelson not better than Mike Schmidt I would go with all of those guys over this George Brett he's an okay fielder with okay speed like I said the inning boss program is always one that's not very usable when they come out I think that George Brett is this card up next is the 99 Jimmy Rollins another team affinity season four card and they cheated this card on his stats they only gave him one good hitting stat 111 contact against lefties his contact against righties not good at this point in the year especially if you're playing on Hall of Fame and on legend if you're playing on all-star you can get away with this card with the hitting stats because the PCI size doesn't really matter too much on all-star or lower difficulties 93 contact against righties his power numbers though only 81 against righties 82 against lefties there's so many better shortstop options that i've talked about in previous videos guys like wander franco trey turner honus wagner francisco lindor just 
name a couple that are way better than this Jimmy Rollins card. They can field almost as well as this Jimmy Rollins. Some of them even better than Jimmy Rollins with about the same speed. Honus, Wagner, Trey Turner, way better speed than this Jimmy Rollins card. And this card can only play shortstop, no secondary positions. Not a very good card. Up next is the 99 Javier Baez. And the reason I believe you should not be using this card, if you're playing on Hall of Fame and on Legend, if you're playing on All-Star or lower difficulties, this Javier Baez is still a solid card. But the contact and the power against righties is not that good at this point in the year on those higher difficulties. You're competing with guys with very good per nine stats. Felix, Nolan Ryan, Justin Verlander, 98 contact against righties. Not going to get the job done. That PCI size going to be too small if you're playing on All-Star or lower difficulties. Like I said, this Javier Baez is still a solid card because the PCI size doesn't matter too much against a lefty arm, though. On Hall of Fame or on Legend, this card is going to be pretty good. There is just not enough good lefty arms in this game for this Javier Baez to make your roster, in my opinion. He's a good fielder. He has good speed, but like I talked about with the Jimmy Rollins, there's better shortstop options than this Javier Baez. Before I get into the rest of the position players that I believe you should not be using in Diamond Dynasty right now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. And make sure to look out for the second video that I have coming out later today. We're talking about end game cards in Diamond Dynasty right now, but let's get back into it. Up next is the 99 Gary Carter. And at this point in the year, you want cards that do something exceptionally well, whether that be contact wise, power wise, fielding wise, or even speed wise. This Gary Carter pretty much does everything good. Nothing great, nothing bad. And that is the problem. We are now in September, almost in October at this point in the year. You need cards that are great power wise, contact wise, speed wise, or fielding wise, if they're going to make your roster. Like I said, though, this card is not bad. He's just good all around. And that is the problem. Don't think this Gary Carter should be on your roster. Now we're going to talk about this 99 Ralph Kiner card. And this card has some of the best hitting stats in the game for an outfielder. The problem is his swing is atrocious. You cannot use this card to play it regardless of how good his stats are. That's why they gave him great stats. That way people would try to use this card, but his swing is so bad. He is unusable. He's also an atrocious fielder and has atrocious speed. Don't fall for the hitting stats. This card is not good. I promise you. Up next, we're going to talk about the 99 Eric Davis, one of the new World Series reward cards. And this card would be an amazing outfielder in this game if he was better against righty arms. Only 85 contact against righties, 109 power against righties. And like I said with the Javier Baez earlier, bad contact against righties if you're playing on Hall of Fame and on Legend is not going to get the job done when the best starters in this game are righty arms. Guys like Verlander, Felix, Otani, DeGrom, other players that I named before this. Eric Davis, not going to get it done. He is worth putting on your bench though. If you go up against a lefty starter, he's worth putting in the game, honestly. With 119 contact against lefties, 125 power against lefties, he's going to be a great bench bat against lefty arms. And the final card we're going to talk about in this video is the 99 Tony Gwynn. And what did I say about Joe Morgan and George Brett? They always make at least one boss in every inning boss program that is just not good and not going to find itself onto somebody's team if you have a good God squad. And this Tony Gwynn in the seventh inning program checks all those boxes. He has bad power, atrocious power at this point in the year. There is no way somebody is going to use this card over guys like Hank Aaron, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Mookie Betts, Cody Bellinger, even Christian Yelich. There are so many better outfielders than this Tony Gwynn card. Even though he has 125 contact against righties and lefties, that contact means nothing if he cannot hit the ball over the fence at this point of the year. 67 power against righties, 69 against lefties, just not going to get the job done. If they gave him 80s plus, maybe we could have a conversation then. Then he'd be kind of compared to Jackie Robinson, Honus Wagner, but he just plays the outfield. Even Roberto Clemente, I would take over this Tony Gwynn card because of that extra power because you can get guys that have excellent fielding stats, guys like Bellinger, guys like Mookie Betts, and guys with excellent speed in the outfield that have way better power than this Tony Gwynn card. I don't know why they only gave 67 power against righties, 69 against lefties. They cheated Tony Gwynn. I know he's not the best power hitter in history, but if we're talking a video game, bump his power up a little bit, at least in the 80s. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for the video today. These were position players I believe you should not be using in Diamond Dynasty right now. If you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. In the comments down below, let me know if there's any other position players you believe people should not be using in Diamond Dynasty right now. Only name 10. Didn't want to make this video too long, so if you have other players, I'm sure people in the comments down below are curious to know, so feel free to put those in the comments down below. Make sure to look out for my second video coming up later today where we're talking end game cards in Diamond Dynasty. Also, make sure to follow me at my social links, which are on the screen for you all right now, including my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, stuff like that. But that's going to do it for me today, everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.
Peace out.